Right, okay, evening everyone. I decided to try and answer a question on 3D vectors by building my own axes. As you can see, here's my axes. I did start off with cardboard, <laughs> like this. Uh, wasn't very good. So then I went to Mark II, which was this one. Uh, really not very good. So a trip down to our local uh, store, I got some wood and I built this instead. Um, so how do 3D um, axes work? Well, you can see along here, that's our X axis, also known as our I vector. Along here is our Y, known as our J vector. And then up there is our Z, known as our K vector. And in this particular question, they say that there are um, position vectors. So they go from the origin, which is just here, and they go out. And the first position vector is at minus two. So on the X axis, it's minus two. So you have to go to minus two, which is about here. And then you have to go three across. So three across and then negative two. So you can see where it is. It's just down there. And that's the point just there. That would be point OA. And then another position vector, one, nine, 10. So one, you go along here, one, and then nine. So it's nine across and then 10 up. And so that's what I've got there. Oh, no, that's the one there. <laughs> so one, nine across, 10 up. And then the last one I've got is 13 across. So this 13 across here, five out and nine up. So that's that one there. So you end up with this. And if I was really clever, I'd be able to put little labels at the end of these, but I'd probably have a problem with the straw and the weight. Now, what it asks, says is the plane that fits here. So the plane, I've cut out a plane that connects all three like this says that show that this is a right angle and show that it is a right angle. So effectively, I'm going to show that this is a right angle. And I could actually scale it all out, draw it all out and show that it's a one. But this is taking me a few hours just to do one question. Is there a quicker way? And that's what we're going to explore.